Hello guys, it's been a while since I made a movie but uh, I've been playing this uh, game called Exiles and I just wanted to say to you guys why this game really it's uh, it's fucking amazing <laughs> I probably can't say that on YouTube but I said it anyways this game is just it's it's easy to start with but it's it's uh, it gets really difficult if you want to get deep into it so yeah I really recommend this game and I just wanted to show you how you start off so I took off all my armor and as you can see I am uh, completely almost completely naked uh, you can also modify this character so you can com choose something completely different, but uh, I went for this guy Because I, I believe in uh, When when you're killing uh, big big animals uh, You need a guy that is strong and looks strong so you can also choose a woman, but Yeah, it's just not the same. So I prefer uh, to play with this uh, male characters but now I'm gonna show you a little bit about how how you start off and where you can get after playing a couple of hours a couple of hours couple of hundred hours so as you, I will show you the map so in the beginning you start here in this area it's called the desert I believe it's here, the broken highway, there you start. And then you have to work your way all the way up to the north. And then uh, eventually the the end bosses and the, the really difficult part of the game is here in the north and the volcano. That was uh, the first part of the game. And then later they added this part, it's called the jungle. And there's some more bosses here and uh, yeah, it's actually an expansion of the map because for experienced players this was kind of uh, getting uh, or boring, let's say, if you play like for 1000 hours the same game, yeah, of course there's not much challenge to it anymore but and they added this and there's a lot of challenge in this uh, area too so you start off in the deserts looking like I do now and uh, if you play the game well and uh, you progress you can uh, find the best armor and the best weapons and then you look like this so now I really look like uh, a knight let me see if I can get this uh, there is this screen I don't remember now. Ah, yeah, here it is. So, yeah. And then you get a big ass blade to kill uh, whatever comes in front of you. And, um, yeah, you start off with a really small base and really basic things like a, a stone hatchet. And then uh, you can build up your base like this after a couple of hundreds of hours and I will show you uh, show you around a little bit just just to give you an idea of what you can do in this game because it's epic so first of all you're gonna have to choose a religion and um, this you you build an altar like this and then when you go into the altar you can uh, craft specific things from this uh, religion so you make the sit city uh, ritual knife and then when you kill a troll it's uh, it's a human uh, APC NPC and uh, you can harvest his body and then you get specific items and you you put them in these uh, uh, altars uh, to build uh, specific things so every religion you start off with one religion but you can eventually 
uh, expands to all all religions at the same time so don't worry too much about what you pick in the beginning um, there's one religion it's called the religion of Krom and it doesn't do anything you're basically an atheist so you have no religion but still you can learn all the all the religions uh, separately they are spread around the map uh, let's say uh, one is here Muriel's Hope and there you can learn uh, the religion of Mitra that's this religion so it's just one location that I'm showing you on the map so you can uh... and then I will show you so this is one of these guys that you have to kill but you can also knock him out with a specific tool and bring him back to your base and then you can turn him into one of your warriors and if we go into this guy you can see you can put armor on him you can uh, give him weapon weapons and if you s if you want to go and fight uh, a big boss you just say uh, follow me and then when you when you go to an enemy we'll see if we can find something close by here let's say this deer is a really big boss and it's really difficult to kill you see now now he will attack this animal Voila! Done. So let's go back to base. And it's it's a really good system with these uh, AIs. They can follow you everywhere. If if you go swimming, if you dive off a cliff. Um, they will always follow you, there's no problem with them. Uh, so it's a really good uh, developed game actually. And then there's also pets. So let's say I... Uh, there are... Th let's say there are tigers on the map. Then you can, uh, you can take one of these cubs. It's like a baby tiger. You can pick him up and then you can put them in this building so you put them in this building and then you see here pets you put the pet in here and then you feed it a specific type of food I will show you some different types of food so you have this only contains fish right now but there's exotic fish, exotic shellfish, savory fish, unappetizing uh, fish uh, savory shellfish the, the list just goes on and on and, and that's that's what makes the game so interesting for experienced players is that in order to get these specific animals you need to be specialized in uh, in training them and finding them on the map but you can also just go for like really basic animals like this this is just a normal tiger and the beautiful thing about this, you can also give them their your own name, like uh, this one. What's this name? Uh, Sacco Leather. Uh, yeah, you can come up with uh, really funny names. And this is uh, this one is called Sit. <laughs> Some of my uh, one of my clan members uh, gave him this name. And um, yeah, this is, uh, let's say, I, I will explain this animal. This is a camel. Makes sense, because it looks like a camel, of course. But uh, the, the good thing about this is, when you go around the map picking up stuff, you can load a lot of things in this camel. It can carry a lot of different things. But as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of hit points, of course. So you have to be careful where you go with your camel, because it dies pretty easily. Because if you look at uh, this, so the camel had 1,800 hit points. Let's check this uh, greater pet. It has 8,000 hit points. So 
this one can take a can take a punch. Whether the ca and the camel is kind of uh, weak. So that's just a, f a fraction of what I what I am trying to explain in this video. I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly, and I will make videos later on uh, how to uh, how to unlock these things and how to work with them. But for now, I'm just gonna go through the red wire. Let's say uh, this thing here is called a map room, and on the map there are uh, pylons it's like this uh, it, it kind of looks like that one over there in the middle and um, if you go go to this pylon and you interact with it you can unlock this position on the map as you can see this one I have unlocked it in this castle so it's for fast traveling so I can I can if I if I interact with this pylon now, then I will jump immediately to that location on the map. And it has... Uh, wait, two, four, six, eight, t nine, ten. There are ten different locations on the map. So wherever you build your base, you can fast travel. If you unlock these positions, you can fast travel to this uh, location using the, the map room. And I also will explain in uh, future videos where to unlock this, but there's already plenty of stuff on YouTube about uh, how to unlock this, so you can check that out also. Alright, now let's go inside my base and have a look there. As you can see there, you can even tame uh, rhinos. So this is a rhino, a wolf. This is a wolf with a skin on it. Looks just... Yeah, this game just looks awesome. It's just nice to play. There's a lot of challenge to it. And uh, it's really... It goes really... How do I say? Uh, really deep into specific things. Um, here you can see some of the weapons that you can find on the map. They look really awesome. And... Uh, yeah, it's just fun to... Every weapon has a specific uh, thing that it can do. Let's drink first before we die. So, the, the weapons are... You, you have daggers, you have bow and arrow. Um, there are short, uh, short swords. There are swords for double-handed, double so you use with your two hands, like this one. But uh, there's also like a shield, different types of shields that you can use. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm already going too deep in it. I just want to show you really the... Just, just to, to get you excited to play this game, because... Yeah. For me, this was really an eye-opener in, in what a game could give me. Um, I've been playing a lot of Miss Survival, if you've been watching my uh, movies, but after playing that for like, let's say, 200 hours, there was really no challenge anymore. But this game I've played for four or 500 hours, and there's still parts on the map that, that I haven't been. Because... I am just not skilled enough. I'm not. Um, I I don't have any experience in this area on the map. You need specific armor for it. You need to explore it piece by piece because this is really difficult to navigate. If you see all this, all this orange and this red on the map is lava. If you step on it, you die. So you have to learn learn to. To, to walk in these specific areas. So, yeah. Then I will show you. <coughs> so this, I've organized my base. So this, this part of my base is mostly for when I come back from the map. Uh, I dump all the stuff that I found. And I, I throw it in these boxes. And when these boxes are full, 
I sort it out in these boxes because otherwise every time you come back you have to run around in your base from left to right just to drop off a couple of items and if I drop them here in these boxes they build up and they stack up I will show you if you can see here like 10 dry wood 24 feline pelt this is to make leather uh, 88 fur so it goes up to a stack of 100 same with the stone let's say I found 50 stone in one run on the map and I I go back half an hour later to pick up some more stuff and I got 200 stone the next run you see it stacks up so I only have to run one time into my base to 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 drop this stuff off it saves a lot of time organizing and keeping everything nice and clean in order and because I have a new clan member I, you can put up these signs to help them uh, because if they if they uh, if they haven't seen your base develop they have no idea where everything is and it's really frustrating to find something so I, uh, I organized these things for them I put up these signs so that they can see glass and crystal uh, this is eager resin ash twine and fiber and uh, yeah it's really nice to, to to organize it a little bit so now I will explain a little bit so this is my production area this is where I make my armor so this one was for the food and this is where I keep us I also keep my plants and other stuff and then this is my production area this is where I make armor I melt down metal I make potions I make uh, wood uh, I make closets all kinds of stuff everything you can think of is is produced in this area and let's say you uh, you kill an animal on the map you cut off his head and then you can make a a, a post out of it and uh, yeah this game is just epic because you can even so you put up the, the mammoth the elephant head and then you can even hang lamps on his horns it's so detailed you know if nobody tells you this you you will never figure it out only by accident so it's really important to, to once in a while check YouTube on uh, on specific movies for this and that's what I'm 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 gonna do in the future because I sometimes I just can't find anything on YouTube and if I can't find it on YouTube how am I supposed to to get to know this go to Conan, Conan Exiles wiki and read about it for two hours that's just boring I just want to watch a movie for two minutes and then just do it in the game otherwise I'm, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time reading and not playing you can also see that there's this uh, it's like stone on the floor but if you look up at the ceiling this is another level of building so this is the basic floor and then you can go up to level one two and three so it makes the building a lot stronger and it looks yeah it looks just a lot nicer because it looks more like in the middle ages and this looks more like from the stone age and the building system is great so it, it's not only making armor training pets killing stuff it's also building your base and and just making you your own thing it's unbelievable what people build in this game it's if you look around on the map some people just build for weeks and weeks and weeks just just to get a base just the way they like it so I'm telling you it's there's for everybody there is something in this game that makes that you just wanna play it every day all right so now I'll show you uh, so this is this was a uh, food and plants uh, this is production area and then up here because we don't spend a lot of time here and it's it's frustrating to walk up and down the stairs um, we we made this part uh, our relax area and here you get an idea of 
of how deep this game goes. You can make, you see this is a table, this is a different type of table. Every item on this table is something else you can make. You can unlock it and, uh, and build it in the game. You can make chairs, you can even, uh, let's say you harvest plants on the map somewhere. You can just uh, take the seeds from the plants and then you can make a, a, a decorative uh, planter. And this is from a specific plant, a frost lotus. So you need the seeds and some stone. And then you can make this decorative uh, thing. And it, it makes your base just look amazing. It's just fun to do. All the things that, I've, that I'm showing you here, you, you can start off uh, at level 10 with this. Uh, but I, I waited until I was level level 60 to uh, so so I can show you guys that you can go from zero to hero and it just looks amazing. Uh, you can build up bed. Uh, if you kill a black panther, you take off his head. If you take uh, if you kill this uh, uh, elk king, you can take off his head and. You can also build different types of lamps. Uh, you can build braziers. I don't know if there's one here. Ah, yeah, yeah. You see? Or this face. Just look how amazing it looks. How detailed it is and how how well designed it all is. It just fits. This is my uh, clan member's room. And uh, this side is, uh, is where I sleep. I went to sleep. You don't have to sleep in the game, but when you log off, it's uh, it's just better to go into your base and to uh, to sleep on uh, on a bed or, or something, uh, so you're not in the middle of your base on the ground. And uh, some things that you build, like this uh, like this decorative uh, war horn, also has a function. So if I interact with it. And you can hear this. It's not just in the in the base that you can hear this sound. You can really hear it far. Let's say my my buddy is online and I'm outside harvesting. He can just blow this horn and I will hear it and I will I will know. Ah, oh, yeah, he's online. I can just. There's of course also in-game chat as you can see on the bottom left corner. And um, yeah. It's just, yeah, I'm telling you, it's an amazing game to play. And that's that's why I'm, I'm getting to this point right now also. Um, that when, when you want to start with this game, you can start on single player. Um, but you can also start on PvP. PvP is when you when you play against other players because the server that I'm, I'm playing on I, I will explain PvP first so PvP, uh, PvP server is um, you can destroy other players buildings let's say I make explosives I put it in front of this door then I can blow up this door go inside of his base and, st and steal everything. Let's say I, I want to go into this chest and I want to steal all this wood from him. Then I can steal all this wood from him. Um, that's really if you if you want to start with the game, do not start on a PvP server because people will know that you're a beginner and they will they will whoop your ass. They will yeah definitely. And you will get demotivated really quickly because it's really difficult on a PvP server to to start playing uh, if you don't know anything about the game. Also, if, if you look at these landscapes, so on the other side of this wall there's forest. Um, if you see on the map here, this for me, this is the most beautiful part of the map. This is the frozen north. There's snow there, there's mammoths, saber tooths, um, yeah, all kinds of wolves, all kinds of wildlife. Yeah, it's just, it looks amazing, this game.
Frost Giants. Uh, I will show you later what this is, but uh, yeah, it's just there's all these different types of animals that all have a different attack and they all drop different things when you kill them. Like you see over there, there's a small scorpion, but you also have snakes and big scorpions, and then you have also bosses. So the there's a, that's like a, a giant scorpion. And um, what I also really like is that you can you can use this these buildings. You can you can build into this. It's it's kind of the same like with Miss Survival. You you get a house, it's it's livable, but it's not a base if you know what I mean. So let's say I want to build in this corner on the base. You can just go in into this corner, build a wall around it like that, and and you can just use the structure, just like I did with my base. I will show you. You see, all I had to do was build build a wall here to close off this this gap, this hole in the wall, and then I use this entire structure as my as as protection as my base and that's also something you have to do when you go into a pvp server when you have more experience you will understand that building a base in the open is not not a good thing because it's really easy to to blow up your doors and your walls you have to use the the environment to to build your base to protect it especially on a pvp server uh, somebody now I will explain uh, there's PVE servers so a PVE server is um, is a server where they can't destroy your buildings it's player versus environment so let's have a look here this is actually ideal so this guy here he started he started playing you see, if, if he doesn't, uh, if he's not protected while he's uh, when he's offline, I can just take his stuff. But I'm not gonna do that, of course, because yeah, what's the point, right? He's level 15 or level 20, and I am level 60, so there's really no point in taking his stuff. But let's say I want to go into his furnace. I can't... I can't go into this furnace. I can't steal anything from it. And that's the beautiful thing about being in a PvE server. You can, uh, you can kill each other and take each other's stuff when you meet outside on the map. During specific hours of the week. But if, if you want to just stay in your base and not fight other players um, you can do that you just close the door and you're protected and nobody can harm you um, let's go and have a look at someone else uh, their base also the nice thing about a PvE server is that most people are, fri are friendly so when you meet them on the map they they don't immediately attack you and try to kill you on a pvp server it's really really die hard you see somebody you try to kill them for sure because it's yeah it's just the way it is on a pvp server i can't really explain more to it but just look at the landscape it's just beautiful all these big buildings in the background and then these are, are different types of bases from from other players and you can see everybody is trying to make their own base creative you see this guy is, has made also a really beautiful base with a lot of uh, let's see if I can climb up here Oh, it's not the player, it's an archer. And this? 
Ah, that's an entertainer, yeah. But you can see what this guy is doing, right? He's building a bar. Toilet. He even made a bathroom. For fuck's sake. That you can just... If he leaves his base open, you can just go in there and... Yeah. Members only. <laughs> Did you see that? Ah, I dropped off the stairs. Yeah, it's kind of laggy here because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, but members only. Is <laughs> and then also, uh, you can um, you can catch fish. You can build these uh, these statues. Here's another player. Let's see if he wants to talk to me. Hello! Yeah, I can't go into his base because if the door locks, I'm, uh, I'm screwed. I can't get out anymore. But he is busy. Hello! Hello! Just making a movie for YouTube. Let's say I think it's PVE time, PVP time. So if if he wants to kill me, he can kill me, and if I attack him. All these animals that you see here, they will immediately attack me. Because they are his pets, so they will try to protect him. Uh... This is a trebuchet. I can use it. So this is a siege equipment, so you can, uh, you can put stone in there and you can throw it. It's just epic. You can just throw a big fat rock at somebody's base if you build this really close and break down their walls. You can even uh, put explosives in there. Yeah, you just did. So there's a few things I want to say before you start playing this game. First of all, you should definitely start playing it. And when you start playing it, maybe start off on single players, uh, explore the map a little bit, mess around a little bit with building and stuff like this. And then you can go into a PvE server or maybe you can just start off in a PvE server immediately. But the most important thing is your ping. You have to make sure your ping is below 30 or below 50 because otherwise you're gonna have a lot of lag when when there are other players uh, in the server. Let's have a look here. Uh, player list. So here you can see all the all the players that are currently online, and you can also see what level they are. So you see, not not a lot of people are actually level 60. Um, a lot of people come and go, but uh, 
a few a few stay. Um, let's go to main menu. So now we're disconnecting from this server, and I will show you. Um, so you just pick play online, and then you you can make f your favorite servers. Um, let's see here. So this is a PVP server, and also look at this official. So it's an official server. So there's no. Um, there are no mo modifications allowed. Only the things that you can buy in game. Uh, I just learned about this that um, if if you want to build a specific building style, you can buy this separately, and you can you can download this as a mod. So then you can build specific uh, building types, and you get a different type of decoration and specific weapons and stuff like this. But the most important thing that you have to do when you when you first pick a server is, is to is to look at the ping first of all. Make sure you don't have uh, higher than 50. 50 is really the max because otherwise you you're just not gonna have a lot of fun killing these bosses because they don't do anything. They're just la lagging all the time. So, or you get killed really easily because he's hitting you and you don't even see it because you're, you're desyncing so just make sure you have a really low ping and then what you want to do is pay attention to the amount of players that are in the server make sure you have let's say it's uh, now it's 7 o'clock in the evening let's say you want to join a server at 7 o'clock in the evening on a weekday and there's only two guys in there don't join it because you're never going to meet anybody there's only two guys in the whole map, so when you have like this 20 people on, on a on a 7 o'clock in the evening weekday, yeah, then, then you will meet some people when, you, when you're playing and when you're running around on the map. Um, and then the next thing you have, you, you want to pay attention to is uh, uh, these things. These are actually the specifications of this server. So let's say, ah, here you can see a uh, building damage weekday and 11 o'clock. A uh, building damage weekend starts at 5 o'clock. A uh, building damage weekend ends at 11 o'clock. So you, you can see that when between 5 o'clock and 11 o'clock, you can kill each other during the weekdays. And in the weekend, it's, it's the same from 5 till 11. Um, then unconscious time has to do with when you, when you knock out. Yeah, it's not important. Uh, you don't have to pay attention to this. But also here you can see. So the combat mode is what I'm talking about. You can see here PvP. So player versus player. Then experience multiplier. The higher this is, the faster you will level up. But if if you really wanna experience the game like like it's meant to be played i i wouldn't go into a server with let's say 5.0 because there's no satisfaction in this you you play for 20 minutes and you level up six levels yeah what's there, there's no there's no there's no reward for leveling up if you know what i mean straw conversion multiplier it's not so important in the beginning um yeah, the same with the thirst and the hunger. It's normal it, when you play a game, you get hungry and thirsty. But it, the lower this gets, the less you have to drink, the less food you have to harvest, the easier the game gets. So it's really up to you to make a decision on this. But if you start off with this game from zero because you never played it and you maybe only watched a few movies on YouTube about it and you weren't sure you were going to play it, I would really suggest to just start with everything on 1.0. Just take an official server with some people in it and just go and start playing. You will uh, 
So he, here you can choose this. So you, you take here is player versus player. This is diehard, remember? And then player versus environment is um, just you versus the environment. You can't kill other players. This is really, yeah, for... Yeah, some people just want to build a base and they want to interact with other people and, and trade, but they don't want to kill each other, so... But if if you want some action after being leveled up to level 60 and, and having a good base set up in a good server, then then you, you really want to enjoy killing other players because it's kind of fun too, you know, fighting somebody... Uh, because killing the animals the whole time is fun, of course, but there's a limit to this e also. So I really recommend to do the player versus player conflict. So then you have specific times during the day, I think, that you can kill each other. And then player versus environment is you, you play against the environment and player, uh, it's called a purge. So after a specific time, they will send uh, animals or humans to kill your base, to try and destroy your base. And then you have to run to your base and defend it from it. Defend it from the environment. So, for me, th these, uh, these two are the most interesting. PvP conflict and PvP, uh, PvE conflict. So these two are the most interesting to play because there's this extra challenge, you know. You always have to be careful when you meet somebody because he might try to kill you. So let's go back to the server. So I've been talking a lot now and I, I think I've more or less explained uh, what this game could mean to you if you if you download it uh, or, or when you buy it and, and you, you go online to play it. Um, yeah, my guy is hungry, so let's eat a little bit. Also, I've I've only shown you a fraction of of what you can do, so. Let's first go into attributes. So when you, when you go into your menu, into your inventory, you can see here everything that you can build, that you have unlocked. And then here you can see, um, this is basically skills for your character. And the, the beautiful thing about this is, you will never complete all of this. You always have to make choices, make combinations to do specific things on the map. Encumbrance, for instance, is how much can I carry? And then you can see you have different skills that you can unlock. Sure-footed, so cripple, crippling effects are less severe. Or pack mule, your max carry weight is increased by 10%. And when you go into this, it's again, it's it's just so much fun to to experiment with this stuff and to to figure out what is the best build for for my playstyle. What do I need to uh, to excel in in what I'm doing in this game? And then you can uh, I have something else too. And don't worry if you if you if you start with a character and. Um, Let's say you put everything in strength and, and you, you're you more like, oh no, I don't want to kill all the time, I want to build my base. It's easy, you just make a potion, you drink it, and then, then your, your unspent points all come back. So everything is reset it to zero, and you can just build a new character with all the points. You don't have to level up again, you just get your points back, and you can you can reorganize your characters to a specific thing. And this is the same with the with the feats. So this is where you where you learn um, to make armor, to make weapons, 
uh, to to make religion uh, and all this is also can be reset it with a potion because you, you I will start with the beginning so these are cornerstones these are things you have to unlock to get into a specific uh, thing let's say or, or let's say um, yeah weapons let's say warriors so if I want to unlock this I, I need to click on it and then I can make a stone sword and a stone club once I've unlocked this I can unlock something else and everything is connected to each other um, then you then you have if you want to become a specialist at something you let's say I want to build a really beautiful base you can uh, you can specialize in building and then you can you can unlock these things and here is what I was talking about this Aquilonial, Aquilo, Aquilonian style, uh, Aquilonian mason. So, as as a master mason, you can just unlock it in the game. But if you want to unlock Aqu Aquilonia, oh my fucking god, it's terrible. Uh, if you want to unlock this uh, specific building style, you have to buy this separately, same as with the Kitan. But trust me, for the first three or four hundred hours you have more than enough just building the master mason journeyman mason and apprentice mason plenty of things to build because if you click on this thing look what it unlocks siege this is this is for building the trebuchet so you have a siege foundation a base a frame arm and then a siege boulder this is what you put in the trebuchet that you can throw at your enemy same with the gatekeeper so once you unlock this it takes a t it takes a while to get all the materials and then build it so then you have decoration as you can see here let's say I, I kill a rhino and I cut off his head I can I can build a stand for it and put it on the wall but you have to unlock these things separately of course same for survival this is uh, the tools that you excuse me the tools that you use to un unlock specific uh, tools to get more materials in one time then there's also cooking um, there's also like this uh, specialist cooking um, so you get some recipes that are standard when you unlock uh, stove or uh, yeah let's see stove yeah let's see now I can make exotic feast meal or savory feast but let's say I'm exploring on the map and there's uh, there's this uh, camp with uh, some enemies they have recipes hidden inside this camp and then you can you can uh, you can find these recipes and unlock them and let's say uh, I found this specialist cooking number two then I can make aloe vera soup, spiced oysters, cooked oysters, berry juice, you name it. And this is, yeah, this is just epic. Same with the boxes, you can make a, so first you make a wooden box and eventually you will make a vault. Uh, apprentice, this is for uh, armor, for repairing your armor. This is for... Uh, taming these animals or taming these uh, NPCs and then we go to the weapons same thing here you, you wanna have you wanna unlock one-handed weapons you can specialize in this uh, let's say you wanna unlock um, uh, yeah this is hilt maker so this is a different type of weapon so every weapon has a specific uh, function some weapons make your enemy bleed other make them uh, impossible to walk uh, some poison uh, your enemies uh, same with the shields some shields are good for uh, protecting against the heat some are good protecting against the cold uh, some are good protecting against poison you, I, I'm not sure about that but um, you, you get the general idea and then you can go into two-handed weapons 
and this is uh, this is for uh, yeah skirmisher. This is close combat with uh, knives. So, if if let's say you are somebody who is uh, more like a, a distant fighter, you wanna fight from a distance and kill your enemies from a distance, you can become an archer. Or let's say, or you can use throwing axes. So it's just it goes really far. Same with the armor. You can make light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, you name it. You can build yourself to be a tank, or you can become an agile uh, hit and run tactics uh, combat fighter. So, yeah. And then there's of course the religions. And if you if you want to find a specific thing, uh, and you're not really sure where to find it. This at the end is a list of all the things you can build from A to Z. Everything is in here. Ex except for a few things, but eventually you will find it. And you can uh, you can unlock all these things and uh, yeah, just have fun with it and explore. Uh, you can also have a look at your stats. Um, if you're interested in that uh, and then there's journey of course so the game takes you on a journey and this is really important for leveling up in the beginning because you will see here in the in the bottom in the top right corner that it says use an explosive lure an enemy to a trap uh, let's see here you can see it here if you, if you use an explosive, you get experience for that. And, and another thing will pop up. And that's why it's called uh, the journey. Uh, let's go back into the journey. So here you have a list. This is chapter one. So first thing is climbing, then drinking, then eating. Use a bed. But it goes really far. If, say, you want to go all the way up here. Obtain a black ice weapon. So, if, if you say to somebody who never played Conan Exiles, obtain a black ice weapon, he, he wouldn't have a clue what to do. But, but once you are level 50, level 60, obtain a black ice weapon. Oh yeah, I, I saw something and I, I've, I've got some black ice uh, somewhere in this place. Maybe I can go there and, and find the recipe to make this black ice weapon. So, from, from really basic to from basic and having no experience at all you, you can go into this game like a pro you can become a really uh, professional uh, player and, and and have a lot of knowledge about this now I'll show you this is fireball cauldron um, so you can make fire orbs so this is a bottle you take it in your hand you throw it and it will burst into flames. Uh, this is a gas orb, so when you wanna uh, uh, throw this at your enemy, it will gas them. So they will take damage running into this cloud of gas. And this is a grease orb, but it's not important right now. It's just to show you, to, to give you an idea of all the specific things you can do. So these are all colorants, so you can color your armor into specific colors um, then there are potions that you can drink this gives uh, extra strength this gives extra survivability and all these potions are used for specific things to do on the map uh, this is the uh, yeah, grey lotus potion some more colors uh, this for example is potion of midnight if you drink this potion you you jump into a dungeon and in this dungeon are several bosses that you have to kill and then you can co come back into the map it's yeah it's getting too deep right now i just want to say to you guys that this game is is for someone who who likes playing one game at this at, at at a time and and just when let's say you have a full-time job or you're going to school or something like that it's something to look forward to when you when you're done with school and your homework or when you're uh, when you're finished working just coming home and knowing oh yeah 
during work you've been thinking about oh yeah I can do this and I can do that and then I will go there and uh, when you come home from work it's just you take your time you eat you take a shower get ready turn on your game and then you just go into this world and and Im immerse yourself in it explore and and have fun just have fun doing this uh Sorry, I had to drink there because I have been talking like crazy for the last half hour, probably. But, uh, yeah, that's what I just wanted to say. And some some videos will follow after this with uh, specific things that I couldn't find on YouTube. And uh, I will also make a beginner's guide on uh, how to get started with this game and what, what you have to pay attention to. But... Um, most important thing now is to to just start playing it and um, yeah be spend some time choosing your server because that's I, I spend a lot of time in the beginning playing on a PvP server you log out you come back in and your entire base is completely destroyed nothing left so just pay attention to that when when you when you go into a server don't pick pvp in the beginning because you will stop playing it if you if you get your base destroyed three or four times in a row it takes too much time to to build everything and to get everything organized um, just go in a pve server or on single player um, but the nice thing about uh, PvE is, of course, if you want to go and kill the big, kill a big boss, you just type in the chat, "Hey, I want to go and kill this big boss. Who's with me?" And immediately, two or three people will uh, will say, "Okay, I'm going with you," and they will help you. Uh, they will help you kill this boss. So that's that's what my experience is. So I just want to thank you guys for uh, for watching. And uh, I really hope you uh, you start playing this game because I guarantee it you won't regret it at all. It will be difficult sometimes. It will be uh, demotivating sometimes because when you die and you lose all your items and you have to start grinding again. Um, but most most important thing is just to start playing it and see what it can bring for you. If you want to build bases, if you want to, if you want to explore the map, if you are an adventurer, this this game really has a lot to offer for everybody. So I'm just saying, play the game, and uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.